So there was an interesting video of Bobby Marks on ESPN picking up some steam on Twitter today. They tried as heck to get DeMar DeRozan. Nobody wanted Duncan Robinson, no offense. They had one first round pick to trade. They wanted Tyus Jones. They couldn't make a deal here. And I do want to say, I like Bobby Marks. I think he is in the know. He was an assistant GM for a couple years. So I think he has some connections. He's obviously a very good cap expert. So he did say a couple of things that I find interesting. One, about the Heat being interested in Tyus Jones. And two, that apparently other teams don't really want Duncan Robinson's contract. First, I'll talk about the Tyus Jones part, which I guess is really not as interesting because the Heat being interested in Tyus Jones is obvious. As I always say, duh, good teams want good players. And that's what Tyus Jones is. If you look at his numbers last season, absolutely phenomenal. You're probably already familiar with that seven to one assist to turnover ratio, which is just crazy. And for some reference, a three to one assist to turnover ratio is good. So he's obviously much, much better than that. Great efficiency as well. Got up almost four threes a game last, last season at 41%. So this is a guy that is really your prototypical point guard with an excellent jump shot and ability to score as he did average 12 points last year also. So very clearly, this is exactly something that I think the Miami Heat need because they don't really have a true point guard. You could say maybe Terry Rozier, he certainly can pass, but I think we look to Terry as more of a scorer. But at the very least, the Heat don't have a backup point guard. And Tyus Jones is a guy that can run an offense to perfection and on a team where you're trying to win a championship and you don't want to shake things up too much because you got a good thing going with a core of Jimmy and Bam and the young guys. You want a guy who you can insert easily, who's not going to mess it up, not make a ton of mistakes. And that is exactly what Tyus Jones is. He's also the perfect age. He's 27 years old. So he's not like Chris Paul, who I think might have been OK on this team, but you know, he got paid 11 million with the Spurs and he's very old. You know, he's not Kyle Lowry, who was 35 years old when the Heat signed him either. So he is a guy that is all around, could just be perfect here. The problem is, though, he's probably going to want quite a bit of money. He's coming off a two year, $29 million contract. So about an average of 14 to 15 a season. And that's not something that Miami Heat can afford. Now, Clearly, it's looking like that's something not a lot of teams can afford because Tyus Jones is still a free agent, which is very weird because coming into this offseason, he certainly was one of the best, you know, one of the better free agents available, but he's not signed yet. And the reason why the Miami Heat couldn't sign him out to right, well, if you look at this, this heat cap situation right here, they're currently only $1.2 million below the second apron. That's that number in the top right you see over here. And that's the reason they couldn't even sign Keyshaw Johnson like to a standard deal if they wanted to right now. Because Keyshaw Johnson's minimum is more than that number. And as a heat team, you don't want to be over a second apron just because the penalties are extreme. And I do agree with that. If you don't understand the second apron, Trust me, Mickey is not being cheap by wanting to avoid that. There is harsh penalties that affect your basketball team, such as, you know, draft picks. And it, it really hinders you in trying to make future trades. It's just very bad. I have other videos talking about it if you if you want to check it out. But anyways, this is why the Heat can't even sign Keyshawn Johnson because he's been balling out. So he does have to stick to that two-way contract right now. So one option for the Heat to acquire Tyus Jones could be a sign and trade. But if you look at these contracts that the Heat have outside of Jimmy and Bam, your next three biggest deals are Tyler Hero, Terry Rozier, Duncan Robinson. They're all guards. Would the Washington Wizards want any of those guys? I don't know. I mean, I think a signing trade could look something like this. A straight up swap, Tyus Jones for Duncan Robinson. Maybe the Wizards are enticed because, hey, they're not losing Tyus Jones for nothing. They get an excellent shooter in Duncan Robinson in return. Would they want that? Maybe. I certainly don't think they would want Tyler Hero because he's basically Jordan Poole to a T and they already have him on a roster. I don't think they'd want Terry Rozier just because that's an awkward fit timeline wise, fit, fit wise for where the Wizards are trying to go. So maybe they'd want Duncan if anything. But truthfully, looking at this trade, is this even a good trade for the Heat? I'm not so sure that Tyus Jones is a better player than Duncan Robinson. I'm really, really not. Duncan had an incredible year last season and really just showed drastic improvement. But like I said, the Heat still need a point guard. And if you do lose to Duncan Robinson, I think you have guys that could sort of give you that shooting already on the team. You still have Tyler Hero. You just picked up Alec Burks. 
So you'd have guys that could kind of do what Duncan does, but you really don't have anybody that does what Tyus Jones does. So I think I would do this trade as a Heat fan, but I don't think it's an absolute home run for either team, truthfully. So another way to acquire Tyus Jones could be by sending out one of those guards that we have to another team with cap space. And then that allows us to, you know, get our own cap space to therefore sign Tyus Jones. And if you look at this list here, these are the top 10 teams with the most cap space available. And there's only three at this point that still have actual cap space, meaning they're not, you know, over the first apron at all. And those three teams would be the Utah Jazz, Pistons, and San Antonio Spurs. Would any of those teams want one of our guards? Again, I don't know. And that's why we're sitting in the current spot that we're in. Because if you look at the Utah Jazz, they got great young guards. Keontae George, Colin Sexton, just drafted Isaiah Collier. Jordan Clarkson is still on the roster. If you go to the Pistons, I've been saying they're a perfect team for Tyler or Duncan because they had no guards that could shoot. You know, their lineup was Cade Cunningham, Ron Holland, Jaden Ivey. They needed some shooters. But they've kind of already helped themselves out in that territory. They traded for Tim Hardaway Jr. They just signed Malik Beasley, who's on a much cheaper deal than Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero, and still provides a lot of the similar shooting. So I'm not sure they're a candidate for one of our guards either. You also got the San Antonio Spurs, who I could see them wanting a guy like Tyler Hero to build along their, you know, their their current timeline. Or maybe Duncan Robinson to provide some spacing for one Minyama to attack and give Chris Paul another shoot on the outside. But the Spurs also got a lot of guards. Like I just said, Chris Paul, they drafted Stephon Castle. And they really had their chance to get Tyler Hero. When the Heat were trying to get DeMar DeRozan, we were trying to dump Tyler Hero to the Spurs. I'm sure of it. But the Spurs chose to take on that shorter and smaller Harrison Barnes contract from the Sacramento Kings. So I'm not so sure the Spurs will be interested in any of our guards either. Because I know the Heat tried when they wanted to clear up cap space for DeMar DeRozan. Albeit they won't need to clear up as much cap space for Tyus Jones as DeMar. So that's why I do think there's possibly still a, you know, a chance the Heat could get Tyus Jones. Now I want to talk about the second parts of that Bobby Marks video from earlier. In which he said that no teams would want Duncan Robinson. I kind of disagree. You know, two years ago, certainly, Duncan Robinson was a high volume, low efficiency three point shooter. We all remember when he fell off a cliff. But last season, his numbers were awesome 40% from three, seven attempts. You don't get many guys like that on that kind of volume that could get you that kind of efficiency. And it's not just like he's a standalone corner shooter that is not versatile in any other area. He is so skilled and crafty in getting his shots off that the gravity that he pulls in on the defensive side is insane, which allows so much more space for all of your players. Because Duncan is a guy that's flying off screens, running baseline, curling off the wings. He's just so versatile in that regard. He's also proven to be versatile in areas other than shooting. His drive game was very improved last season, had a nice floater, great finishing ability at the rim, was well over 80% at the rim, even over 90% one of his seasons in Miami. And obviously his passing game has took a big leap also, had a great connection with Duncan Rob or with, with Bam and Abao, excuse me, those two. We know the connection they had. The Wizards just got Alex Sarr. Maybe him and Duncan could have some sort of big man shooting guard connection also. So maybe the Wizards would want Duncan. Obviously, defensively as well. I think he was improved in that regard as well. And if you look at the rest of the guys in, uh, that, that are making around the same amount of money as him, you see the list of players here that are making around the 19 that Duncan's at. The only player on this list that I think is substantially better than Duncan Robinson is Miles Turner. Because Nikola Vucevic, he's fell off a cliff shooting-wise. Jaka Pertle, mid as hell. Norman Powell, very good player. Same with Bohan and Keldon, D'Angelo Russell, Colin Sexton. Obviously, Evan Fournier is a bit washed at this point. But all of those guys are very good players. But I think they're in the same tier as Duncan Robinson. So if you're talking about Duncan's contract relative to his peers, I think it's, you know, equivalent in that regard. Now, the reason it might be easier to dunk Duncan Robinson or to dump Duncan Robinson, uh, you know, compared to Terry or Tyler. Well, Duncan only has one more year left plus a player option. So it's potentially he could opt out in two seasons, meaning he's kind of like an expiring contract. Terry Rozier has two more years without a player option. And Tyler Hero has three more years on a lot more money. So that's why I think Tyler is certainly the hardest contract to trade. So do I think teams don't want Duncan Robinson? I don't know more than Bobby Marks, but I think his contract is good. So I'll at least say that. Now, from a Heat fan perspective, 
Is there another way they could have got Tyus Jones? Maybe if they didn't sign Alec Burks, Thomas Bryant's. Not really. That still wouldn't have been enough. That would have really only gave the Heat about $6 million to work with. I do think Tyus Jones will probably want closer to that $15 million that he just, you know, is finishing out of his contract because Tyus had a better season. So theoretically, he should get paid more. I just don't think there's enough room in the market for him to get that. But he certainly shouldn't get less. So if he got $14 million last season, he should probably get close to fifteen million next season. Now, if the Heat didn't sign Haywood Highsmith, in addition to Thomas Bryant's, and Alec Burks, you would have been around 10. So you would have been closer to that 15 million range, although not quite there yet. But either way, I, I do think that the Heat needed to re-sign Haywood Highsmith because you lost all your other perimeter defense and Caleb Martin, Gabe Vincent, Depot. They all left out the door the last few seasons. You needed to retain Haywood, and I'm glad they did. So I wish there was another way the Heat didn't have all this money tied up. So they could have gone after a Tyus Jones or gone after a Dennis Smith Jr. or gone after a Lonnie Walker. But that's just not the reality because they've made a lot of bad moves with these signings over the last several seasons. But that's all I got to say for this video. So let me down, let me know down below, do you want Tyus Jones? And two, do you think it's possible? Because that's, I guess, really the more important question here. I'll be sure to read all your comments. So make sure to like the video and subscribe because both of those things genuinely help me out a lot. And I'll see y'all at the next video. So peace out. Look, pull up in the city, trying to get that dead fast sight. Do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me. Hmm.